What's up guys? Uh, it's been a while since done any sort of food tracking type videos. Uh, the last one was trying to lose weight on like the healthy pizzas and all that sort of stuff. Um, the purpose of this one is my boy Rob, who is our Fighting Words, make sure you check that out if you haven't already, uh, Fighting Words podcast co-host. He's doing a 72 hour fast and he asked if I want to do it. Want is probably the wrong word, but I thought it'd be a great thing to do. I've never done a fast that long, so here we are. It's day one. Um, I've just come back from a holiday to Guatemala. The food there is delicious, but it's probably not the best food for cutting weight. It's probably the best thing, I would say. So it's perfect time for a fast. So we're going to do it. going to go weigh in. Like I said, it's day one. Kind of, I guess straight off the bat messed up the timing of the start of the fast because we're already a bunch of hours in didn't eat since uh, like 9 p.m. last night but don't want to cut any corners so we're starting the fast from the first time we wake up so it was like just before 7 a.m. gonna go weigh in now see where we're at and let's see how the next three days go so time to jump on these here scales The fuck? Okay, so 98 kilos. I kind of gave myself a little bit of a fright. It's quite a clunky camera. Um, so I added an extra 1.2 kilos to it. Don't need any extra weight, that's for damn sure. So uh, yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Let's see how we go. What is the diet going to consist of for the next 72 hours? pretty simple it's gonna be coffee and it's gonna be water coffee just black coffee um, water just water so yeah that's what we're dealing with let's do this time to enjoy one of the uh, <coughs> meals take it outside with our little friends they're asleep now but uh, the second the door starts jiggling they seem to wake up <laughs> I thought you were looking at a bird. Um, I do think these massive jugs are going to be a game changer anytime I have to um, really keep track of water, whether it's like, you know, uh, cutting weight or people on this fast access, easy, massive jugs of water, get involved. Well, it may not be the smartest thing in the world to do on day one, but um, like I said, I have been away. It's been a while since I've hit anything and I'm absolutely dying to do it. So I'm gonna head down to my brother Maddie's uh, gym, Circle 8 Fitness. Um, what it does, it's like a, a hour long circuit class. It's half heavy bag, Muay Thai, half pretty hectic uh, strength and conditioning on the floor. It's a great class, work up a massive sweat again. Not sure that's exactly what uh, is the best thing to do on uh, such a long fast. It's only day one, but at the same time, it is day one, so I'm gonna have the most amount of food in my body uh, from eating up until now. So, only one way to find out. Let's give it a try. I'm not recommending this. I'll let you know after the three days are up whether it was a good idea or not. Hoping to do a class on each of the days, but we'll just play it by ear. Let's see how we go. were a bit higher today than I planned on. Um, an awesome class at uh, Circle 8. It was a killer. Um, I think even without the fasting, it would have been a killer. So thanks, buddy. That was awesome. Um, so yeah, it's like kind of almost an hour cycle to get there, hour cycle back. And we went for a couple of hours walk just because the sun is out in London. It's beautiful. So yeah, awesome day. But uh, I hope it doesn't bite me in the ass tomorrow. But there's only one way to find out. Um, 
let's see. Gotta, gotta live each day as it comes. So yeah, uh, so far so good. Um, just gonna get through the dinner time period. Um, feeling surprisingly awesome. Like it, it really feels good, knock on wood. I hope that continues for the next couple of days. Um, it's gonna be like, normally it's the after dinner snack time that's the killer, you know, like can hit your um, calories throughout the day, feel great, and then you still feel hungry. Um, that's not gonna be an option for the next few days, so wish me. All right, so day two. Um, how did day one finish up? To be honest, I really felt it at night. Um, I think I mentioned that usually after dinner, that's when, especially when you're watching your calories, um, if you've just hit or you're just under, that's when the sort of hunger pangs can kick in and you gotta fight off the urge to have like a snack. Even if it's a healthy snack, you just get that, that hunger um, that really hit. Um, when I got to dinner time, the only thing can have is black coffee and water. So I kind of made a rookie mistake and thought, all right, I'll have a black coffee for dinner just so that, because the water, especially after training, I've been smashing. I went through, I think like six liters or something like that yesterday. Um, so it was a bit over just plain water. So I had another coffee and oh my God, the insomnia was real. I think you, you do definitely get that alertness from fasting anyway, but was just on overdrive mixed with the caffeine, especially caffeine which I mean I, I enjoy coffee so normally it doesn't do that much but I guess when there's nothing else in your system it yeah it was legit so anyone who's planning on doing this uh yeah don't do the late night coffee especially uh even if you do drink coffee because it hits differently when you're you're fasting um oh yeah on that I know trigger warnings are a big thing now so Probably should have said this earlier, but it just came to my head. If it's triggering hearing about me not eating, obviously don't watch the video, but hopefully this is just for people that are um, interested in doing it. The, I personally just like challenges, um, whether it's for charity, you know, previously have done that, doing a workout every hour on the hour for 24 hours straight, um, doing the thousand burpee challenge, um, doing 10 of the 50 minute high intensity boxing classes throughout the day, the cinnamon challenge that my now wife uh, almost killed me doing by giving me way too much of it, totally clogging the airways, a jackass style challenge, which was a combination of Steve-O snorting wasabi and Wee Man kicking himself in the head. I can't kick myself in the head, so I had to outsource that job. Uh, or if it's for learning a new skill, like for a while I was getting sent um, plyo push-up challenges or dumbbell push-up or ring push-up challenges, which I really enjoyed for a while. Um, they were awesome. Or, you know, sometimes just to see if I can do it, like when I ran the marathon without training for it or doing half marathon on the rower, even though I'm a terrible rower, uh, David Goggins 45 minute workout, or the 400 double unders followed by 400 um, meters worth of burpees, which was way harder than I thought it would be. Or my birthday workouts, which are always my age and years. I my like that amount of exercises by that amount of reps. And now that I'm old, that's getting harder and harder because it's more reps and more um, more exercises. But you know, it's just fun, or you know, just for the experience, like fighting was a great challenge, or training with Floyd Senior, that was like, of all the challenges, that was the closest to death I think I've come. Was it Jeff or was it me? Man, you fucking kill me. Oh, that was just like, fuck. He said, he's out of the motherfucker, kill me. That was out of the life. Oh my God. But um, yeah, so I personally, I just like challenges. And as I said, my boy Rob uh, decided he wanted to do a three day fast, asked if I wanted to do it, and I'm always down for a challenge. So there are people that are way more educated on the health benefits of fasting. There are loads of them. If I'm honest, if I said them, I'd just be regurgitating information that I've read myself. I'm not a scientist, so I think it's far better. If you're gonna do it and you wanna see that aspect of it, definitely check out some other videos. There's a lot of great videos out there. Um, 
I'm not that guy, I'm not that smart, I wish I was, but this is just going to be my kind of journal of fumbling my way through it and the things I've found, so definitely steer clear of the caffeine late at night. Um, other than that, um, pretty good, like, um, the I thought the, the tiredness and the hunger would really kick my ass this morning. Um, it hasn't been as bad as I thought, but last night I was definitely hungry. Like the hunger definitely kicked in. Now I'm, I think just past that. You know, sometimes if you're really hungry and then you don't eat, you just get past that. That's kind of where I'm at now. Last night was unpleasant with regards to that. But I guess that's another why. Like when you do challenges, it kind of helps having the why as a reminder. Um, and Goggins is the man for that. Like he says, if you've, when people will be motivated to do something, but when you're actually doing the thing that you're motivated to do, it can suck. And you just gotta know in your head that it's gonna suck um, and that'll help get you through. So like before you start, just know, look, you're gonna be hungry. It's just like at some point in time, you're gonna get hungry. Just accept it. And when that goes through your head, just know it's a mental thing. Like you're not gonna die from three days of not eating. It's just that you want to eat. So if you choose to do it, just know that, yeah, it's it's, it's gonna be a mental thing after a while. Same thing with marathon, same thing with a bunch of challenges. Um, it, when it comes to your mind, it's not like a skill thing. Like I've done martial arts since I was a child. I know I'd love the challenge of fighting for the UFC title against John Jones, but no way is that gonna happen. Why? Because I don't have the skill to do it. He'd like kick 25 shades of shit out of me. Whereas this, this is just like a mental thing. If I can just tell myself to keep going, like go another hour, go whatever, until you reach your target, that's it. But I think just like mentally, just yeah, try not to have the quit, like don't let quitting be an option. Um, and just know it's not going to be all roses. It will suck along the way, but we can do this. So um, yeah, if you're planning on doing it, know you can do it and you'll get there. I'm saying that in advance of actually doing this. Uh, this is just hope. But you know, I figure if you tell yourself that you, you can do it, you can do it. So day two, let's see what we got. Oh, one last thing, the workout. Um, the workout was awesome. I think I discussed it. Brain was a bit foggy towards the end of the day, so apologies if I'm repeating anything. Um, gonna try it again today. I know the output is not gonna be the same. Like, uh, you know, feel alert, but definitely like don't feel good to go. You know, like, I'm gonna do it just because I want to do it, but let, let's see how it goes. I'm filming the workouts um, just as like a, a bit of a reference, but yeah, I don't think it'll be anything to write home about today. But gotta try it anyway. So, oh. Sorry, and one more thing, the weight. Um, uh, yeah, I was surprised like how much weight comes off. Uh, obviously, mo like it's basically water that you're losing, but yeah, it's surprising how much body, uh, how much water weight your body does store. Um, yesterday was 98 kilos, and today was like 94 something, so like four kilos in a day it's a fair bit, like I'm not saying that's fat loss in any way, it's not like a sustainable way, it's not a smart way, it's just like a, a, a factual thing of what happened. So yeah, when you have nothing but the water and the black coffee, um, you start losing all your water um, and that's how much I lost. So day two, let's see how we go. We got big stacks, no cap, no fat summer Make tracks, make cash, big fat summer Hit that, go back in the band summer Trip, trip, got the Gucci on my lands I really can't complain or pass it, mate Yeah, I'm really not the one, you can ask him, mate So Bob's known my name, I've heard the game Like Esh, come fucking it up Like Esh, come fucking it up, ay, ay Like you heard of this, I murdered this I spend it in a day, cause I'm earning this The burn, they keep me all black and murking, bitch Like, hoping that they learn from this We gon' pull up with a stick, stick that clip clip, then my homies dip dip, like tiger, I'm a fire. So day two, workout done. Um, I could not have felt any less like doing that workout than I did beforehand. But um, for people watching this that, um, cause I see a lot of videos, people have kind of been steering clear of the training, like high intensity stuff. It's probably smart, but um, anyone that does do it, I am, trying to continue doing it um anyone that does do it because 
you feel so not like doing it beforehand when you get it done like it is horrific doing it i did take more rests than normal obviously just because you don't have the energy and didn't have the sleep but when you finish um you feel like comparatively much better for it so um yeah gonna try and do it again tomorrow um but yeah so far so good it's now it's just like you can see the finish line in sight one more day uh till food cannot wait but um yeah happy to have done the workout uh today um did the best i could um one more day let's go it is finally almost time to eat um a couple of things on the final day number one um pretty early doors decided that rather than doing those extra hours so it was supposed to be a 72 hour fast three days we were going to do the extra days for some reason to when we went to breakfast um that hasn't changed i mentioned i went to guatemala uh my wife missed her flight missed a couple of days of work so she's been pulling double shifts i feel pretty bad just wasting away in the corner not being much value when she's been doing doubles so it coincided perfectly with when i had my last meal if i go pick her up after she finishes her day and we go get some dinner so that is going to be the plan now so it'll be a full 72 won't be doing the hours until uh i wake up and i'm really happy about that if i'm honest it was the perfect reason so if anyone's doing this if you're doing it for health reasons spiritual reasons or whatever that will really help to tie you through because you do start getting that i'm hungry why am i doing this in your head and you just have to tell yourself it's because i told myself i'm not going to and stick to that um to go any more than that though that's not enough like i'll do the hours and that's it so um yeah i am gonna eat tonight i cannot wait um the final weight loss was i think just under five kilos which is i think just over 10 pounds um it really stabilized i think today because the second thing about today was i woke up knowing that i wasn't going to be able to train um it's insane how little muscle recovery you get like obviously i knew that in advance but feeling it is another thing like um after day one workout when i woke up the next day uh, the doms was insane which normally wouldn't be the case and then after day two you've just got no no nutrients to repair your body um so just a word of warning that that is what happens with the training you can definitely like do it but you won't recover well um in the second day i had to take more breaks than i normally would as well so i i did the best i could but it, i definitely my performance had dropped and today would have just been a joke if i tried so i didn't do that i did do an ice bath um and that was awesome like it really woke me up it stayed away the hunger for a while which i was worried might do the opposite but um yeah that was brilliant so in conclusion uh the weight loss or you know water loss uh weight loss it was weight um was just under five kilos um doing the 72 hours not extra um gonna eat tonight i mean that's that's the highlight this was i'm guessing a lot of people are in this position like when i mention uh the fast people are like, i could never do that i could never do that i'm one of those people like i get so hangry so for me the why i guess was um can, can i go this long without food and it's good moving forward if nothing else just knowing i want food i don't need food you can go without um so it helps in that today has been brutal like i'm legitimately i can't wait for this to be over so i wish anyone who's going to do it luck i definitely won't be racing to do this again i do enjoy my food um i can't wait to eat some of it I was hoping this would have a bit of an uplift of like, oh, this mental clarity that I've heard about. When I've done intermittent fasting, I've felt that. Today, I just feel glazed um, and I'm just ready to eat. So I do wish anyone who's doing this luck. I'm glad this is over. Um, cards on the table. I won't be rushing to do it again, but I am glad I did it just to know that I can. Um, that's it. So what am I going to be eating first up? I've heard, which is pretty helpful information, that you can feel pretty shitty if you go straight to solid foods. So going to be making up a shake. I couldn't decide between the chocolate or the banana. So I'm going to have a scoop of each. X-Brain, of course. Hit up our Fighting Words uh, 
discount code, you get your discount if you want that. Um, throw in some PB Fit in there as well. This is just like low calorie um, peanut butter, not the calories are an issue at the moment, but um, yeah, I, I have it and I just thought maybe less oil will be better on my stomach at first. So gonna have that. Um, and then I've got some watermelon, because for some reason I thought that's halfway between the water and the food, so it might be a good reintroduction. And tonight, I'm gonna pick up my wife and smash up some pizza. Because um, as I said, it's not like this was for any particular thing. So if you've done it for weight loss and you want to sustain that or health or whatever, clearly not the best option. For me, I just want to celebrate that it's over. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, I hope this was in some way helpful. Not sure how it would have been, but it's just a little log. Anyone who's suffering through it, um, I hope this helps you out a little bit. You will get through it. You can do it. Uh, try and make the best of it. It's not pleasant at times, but yeah, you got this. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Take care.